I was so mad at God. Like, how dare you, God? Like, I just gave you my very self. You know, being a Christian is not supposed to be like this. Uh, I told God I hated him. Freshman year of high school to my freshman year of college at 11, people that I knew and loved pass away. It was devastating, like absolutely devastating. And that led to me feeling like, God, you must not love me because you, if you did, you'd be doing all of these great things in my life. I don't know, I guess I expected falling in love with God to be really easy. I spent quite some time away from him, you know, kind of like a kid who you reprimand for doing something wrong and they're mad at you, but they also want a hug from you. <laughs> I drank a lot in high school. Unfortunately, made some really poor decisions and even into college, was on academic probation. I, I say it and it's like, I can't believe that was me. And I had a really good friend of mine who put our friendship on the line and just to correct me. And he said, you know, Chica, you're getting to the point where you're doing all of these things and I'm not surprised anymore. I kind of expect them. And it was harsh. It cost us our friendship and I'm so grateful for him. I started leaning into my faith and I had an opportunity to go to confession and the priest was so generous in his love for me and, and his kindness towards me. Praise be to God that he's redeemed me and saved me and I don't have to live that life anymore. My joy is through sorrow and through pain and uh, as a Catholic speaker, my goal is to present the church in a way that is tangible, in a way that is understandable. And my passion is to um, bring about a conversion for the Lord, not through me, not for me, not about me at all, but completely for the glory of the Lord, the edification of souls into heaven.